Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic. Time to get nerd up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to spread the word up. Okay nerds, today I'm going to show you how to actually install TWRP and also unlock the bootloader of your OnePlus 5T. These are just the tools that you will need. A PC, a USB cable, a mouse just in case you're using a laptop, <laughs> just to simplify it. And then after you have all that, all you want to do, the very first thing you want to do, make sure you go into settings on your OnePlus 5T. Then in settings, we're just going to go underneath security, take off whatever screen unlock you may have, any type of face unlock. You just want to make sure you take off all that nonsense so it doesn't interfere with the unlocking of the bootloader. And after you're finished doing that, you just want to make sure you go into developer options. So to get to developer options, in case you don't have it already unlocked, click on about phone. Then when you're in about phone, click on build number at least seven times. It will tell you that you have unlocked developer options. Then once it's unlocked, you want to go into developer options and we just need to put on a few things. OEM unlocking is the first advanced reboot. And then the final thing we are looking for is USB debugging have all of them on once you have all of those on you can simply plug your phone into your PC and plug the wire also into your phone and I'll go to the machine from here from your PC once you plug your OnePlus in you should get that prompt like what I'm seeing right there it should sound like Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> then once your phone is plugged in the next thing you want to do is just simply click on the link in the description below it will send you to this URL for you to download this tool it's called tool all in one and the other tool that you will want to download will be super user the link for that also is in the description as soon as you click it it will start the download process um, the first thing we're going to do is use the tool all in one we want to make sure we extract it first you can extract it with like a program like alzip winrar you can find that on the web and once it's extracted just open folder and from here, all you want to do basically, let me just bring it to the desktop just to simplify it. Okay, and now that I've had this folder onto the desktop, I'm just going to double click it. Then we're going to double click on the setup execution. You should get a prompt that says install. Just simply click on the installation button. Okay, then you have to wait for the tool all in one to finish initializing. Once it's finished, and once it's finished doing the inel, once it's finished the inel, once it's finished loading up, you'll see the tool all in one box. Select one plus five T. Once you select it, you should get a prompt allow USB debugging. In case you do not get that prompt, simply click on the check button on the tool all in one kit. After you're doing that, you just want to make sure you click unlock. Once you click unlock, you should get that fast boot rebooter option pops up. And then from here on your machine, you should see that happening on your machine. It should open the command line prompt. And also on your phone, it will send you to this screen, the unlock bootloader screen. Then from here, you just want to make sure you select yes. You can use the volume up and down to move up and down. And click the power button to select yes. Once you've done that, you just got to wait for your phone to reboot. And you should see this um, new prompt here. Your device software can't be checked. That just basically means that you've unlocked the bootloader. And keep in mind, once you do this, everything will be deleted from your OnePlus 5T. So definitely make sure you do a backup, <laughs> just in case. And from here, we got to go through the whole entire wizard again. I'll skip that. Okay, and once your phone has done a full startup, you just want to make sure you go back into settings. And all we have to do right now, again, we have to go back into developer options. So the very first thing we have to do is go about phone, go to bill number. And click on it six, seven times until it says you are now a developer. Then from here, you click in developer options. Then we want to make sure we turn on everything else again. The OEM unlocking is already on. Advanced reboot, we're going to choose that. Then we're also going to choose USB debugging. Then you should hear that. You should get that message pop up on your screen also. Then from here, simply, we're just going to go back to the PC after we select charge. And then you will see that prompt populate that says allow USB debugging. Just want to click OK, tick that, allow it. Then from here, I'm going to go back to my Windows laptop. Then from my Windows laptop, all I want to do from here is just look for the location where super user is. I want to just copy it. And then I just want to go to my OnePlus 5T and paste it in there. So just right click on it and then choose paste. 
cannot copy item okay if this if you get this cannot copy item message you may want to plug out your oneplus 5t and re-plug it back into the pc see if that works i just did that now it gave me the prompt oneplus at the bottom right there my windows machine so let me go back into it let me go back and then click back forward okay and now here we have the internal shared storage for the phone so that is a good thing so all you want to do from here just copy and paste over the super user zip i've already done that now we're going to go back to the tool all in one prompt okay and then for the option here you have a drop down arrow just select the highest twrp available at the time is 3.2 tick the very first box at the top that says and boot it then from here just click the tab that says flash then select yes once you do that a prompt will populate on your pc that will be the command line prompt just populated okay it'll be processing all that good stuff and then let's just go back to the oneplus 5t your phone should be rebooting and it should be starting the process of trying to reboot you into the twrp recovery which is team win recovery <laughs> okay so now we're in here you just want to swipe and then click on the tab that says install then we're just going to look for the super user zip click on it and after we click on it we're just going to swipe right and then just wait for it to process and then after that you want to wipe the cache that's my best practice after you're finished doing that just reboot the system once your phone has been finished rebooting um, you're just gonna see that super user app right there <laughs> you can click on it so that's how you know that you actually have root on your phone and if you want to take it a step further go to the Play Store and you want to download root checker click on it just simply click on the installation tab and while it's installing you can wait <laughs> Once it's finished installing, simply click on open, then you're just going to click on check. Grant super user permission, that's a good sign as well. Okay, great, your OnePlus A5010 is rooted. And if you like this video, show some love by subscribing and have yourself an awesome day and I love you guys.